thing. Hey, camera speed. <laughs> this week in Come Follow Me, we talk about how important it is to love God with all of our hearts. So I thought it'd be really fun to draw a picture of the scriptures, which tell stories about how much we love God and God loves us, and then put a big heart around it. So let's go draw. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. We're going to start by drawing a large heart on our page to show how much the Lord loves us. So I'm going to use up most all of my paper to draw a really big heart. If you want to, you can kind of come down here and pick where um, the middle of your heart is going to be at the top, but make sure you have enough room up here for your curves. And then you can put another one down here. But then we're going to create this heart. We're just going to go really big and then go down and connect to that other dot. And these dots just help show us where we're going. So we're, then we're going to do our, the best we can to do that on the other side. And then we can get a nice heart here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, hearts can be all kinds of different shapes. We just want to get this basic shape so that we know we got a heart here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw the scriptures inside of here. These scriptures that our Heavenly Father has given us that teach us about how much he loves us. So to do that, we can figure out kind of where the center of our heart is here, right? And we can create the middle of our, our book by going a little ways down here. And this can be like where the top of the book is. And then we can go down here further and maybe do another dot. And that'll just show us how big it's going to be or how tall. All right, so I'm just going to draw one line right through that. Really easy. And now we can do the same thing on either side of this. Just figure out where this is and go over here and do another dot and do the same thing on the bottom. And then do the other side. And because this is going to be like our pages, you know, because you flip them open and we're going to have these scriptures be open. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side, dot there. Do this here on the bottom. All right. So when you got that, let's go ahead and make it look like pages. So to make it feel like, because kind of when you open a book, you kind of see the curves of these pages. So maybe on the top of this, you, you kind of want to do a straight line, but it is kind of cool if you want to. You can make it curve up just a little bit before it connects to that other dot. And then do that on the other side. It's kind of like the heart. We did it the same on both sides. And then do the same thing on the bottom and just curve the same way as, as our top lines here. And you can start on either side. You could start on this side and go one way or start on one other side. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect because pages move around too. And then we just create some straight lines going from the tops of both sides of these to the bottom. Look at those nice straight lines. Those are fun. All right, so I've got both of those. And now to maybe help it make a little bit more like it's a full book with a lot of pages, we can just add some extra lines underneath these that follow the same path as the line that we have. So you can just put a couple of these under there. Maybe do like two or three, you know, however many you like. And you can see how that looks like. It's kind of like some pages piled on top of each other. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle, but it's going to kind of be missing the top. So we'll start right here on one side, and we're going to go down and around, and then we'll go back up, and we'll stop right there. We don't want to go all the way through this part. So you can see I can start right here, and it's just kind of like outlining your book a little bit. And then we'll go around this way, and then we'll go back up again. And then we'll go here and stop and not go the rest of the way across. And there we go. We have a little book there. And it might be fun to have a bookmark in it. Sometimes people have bookmarks in their scriptures. Some of them have um, these material ones that kind of hang out of it. Or you might just have like a cardboard one that you stick in there or a long piece of paper. So I'm going to create a bookmark by just making a line go out of here. And you can go any direction you want. 
I can't sometimes like to make it curve. You could make it go this way or just straight out. Or you don't have to put one at all if you want. And if you want to make it thicker, you can just kind of go next to that same line. Sometimes it's fun to make it a little bit thicker if you want. Now we're just going to make it look kind of like there's words in there by drawing words. And this is kind of a fun part because you can just do whatever you want here for these lines. You can make them as long or as short as you want. And I'm just going to do a whole bunch of them. But I'm not actually going to draw words in here. But if you are really good with words and writing letters, maybe you could write a favorite scripture that you like inside of this book. Or if you want to, just because you know the scriptures are important, maybe you love listening to your parents talk about them, you can just draw these lines in here and just go make some of them longer and shorter and just go across the pages in here. And if you can do that, you can see how it kind of looks like there's stuff written inside of here. And if you do have a hard time and want to write a scriptures, you could maybe ask your parents to help you spell things if you need to. They're really good at that. All right, so this is our finished drawing. So let's go ahead and color it. And then we'll talk a little bit about how much our Heavenly Father loves us and how the scriptures help to show us how much he loves us. I'm going to color my heart pink. If you want to, you can color it green or purple or orange. I think it's so fun. And if you want to, you can put patterns in it or use lots of different colors. I think it can be fun to make things really colorful. So I'm going to go ahead and start going in here with some pink. And maybe you're using crayons or colored pencils. But you can just color this in however you want to. But here's some pink. And I think one of the really fun things about drawing pictures is it helps us remember inside of our heads, or it's a fun thing to just like think about what we're drawing about and how important it is. And then maybe if we even, we might even wanna put this picture up in our room to remind us about how much our Heavenly Father loves us. And one of the ways that I know that my Heavenly Father loves me is because he's given us the scriptures. And when I read the scriptures, I read all kinds of stories about how much he loves other people before me. He's talked to other prophets and he's taught them their gospel all throughout time. He's taught so many people the truths in the gospel. And he does that because he loves us, because he knows the things that he teaches us are going to make us happy. And that's how I know that he loves me because when I've done the things that he asked me to do, I can see how happy it's made me. I can see the blessings of, of being nice to my sister, my brothers and sisters, or obeying my parents and helping them out with things. All those things make me happy. And then even when I do wrong things, I can tell that he still loves me. And we talk about repentance and things like that, which also show how much he just loves us. And he just wants us to be happy and learn to be the kind of people that we want to be. All right, so now for the scriptures, we can probably just leave the pages white, but you can color them if you want to. Sometimes paper is yellow or other colors. Um, I'm going to get some blue, and I'm just going to color the very edges of my book here. Just right in here, just on this, this part that looks kind of like the cover. And then just leave the pages white. But I've seen lots of different colors of scriptures. Maybe some of your friends have scriptures at church that are green or blue on the outside. Our Heavenly Father has given us lots of different colors to see, which is another way that I think he shows how much he loves us, all the colors in our beautiful world. All right, so this is my finished picture. I can't wait to see some of the stuff that you guys have made. All right, so this is my finished picture. I want to show you some that some other kids have made. So right here, we've got three more pictures. And you can see they all look different. And yours don't have to look like mine. I think everybody's heart should look different because it's something that's important to them. And maybe you want to pick different pictures. You can see this heart is drawn a little bit differently. I love how whimsical it looks. That's probably a hard word for some of you. But it just means it's 
kind of fun, you know? And so you can see all this purple in here and you see this bright yellow, which I think feels really warm and bright and happy, which is something that the scriptures can make us feel as we read them and learn about them. And then you have this one right here. You have a whole bunch of yellow in here, some red. I think it's fun that it's two different colors. That's really pretty. And we have this red and green one here. I think all of these look nice. They all look very different, but I think all of them are things that we could maybe hang up in our bedrooms and they can just remind us of how much we love God and how much God loves us and wants us to love him because he's promised that if we love him, if we follow his commandments and his teachings, we read his scriptures and learn about him, that we'll become happier and happier and we'll have more love for him so that we can become like him. I had a whole bunch of fun drawing this with you. I can't wait to see you again next time. Bye.